Audio here, and today we're gonna be mastering using Waves plugins. And I'm so excited to announce that Waves Master Sauce is finally here, which is 25 mastering chains using Waves plugins only. And this is one of our best preset packs that we have ever made. It took months and months and months to come up with this because it is very hard to master. And we learned every mastering plugin by Waves to really try to get to an industry sound and try to give each preset and mastering chain a unique vibe. So here we go, we're going to go through it. Let's listen to what we have mixed so far in this series. They told us that we wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag and run it up. I put a foe in the double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. All right, so shout out to Dexter Dior for this vocal. So what we're going to do is just quickly install Waves Master Sauce. It's very easy. All you're going to type in is Studio Rack in your search and then open up Studio Rack user presets. And all you do is just drag the folder right in there. So in the beginning, we added a Studio Rack with a limiter set to negative 0.1 so that we don't clip or anything. You can get rid of that. And we're just gonna add a new Studio Rack. Now we got a full reset Studio Rack here. And Studio Rack is the plugin that allows us to use presets and mastering chains on any music DAW. All the plugins that we use will all be linked below. We're gonna press this yellow text up here. And we're gonna go down to Waves Master Sauce. So here we got 25 mastering chains named. Now, if you have our other Master Sauce Volume 1 that's using stock plugins, you're gonna notice the same names. We wanted to keep the vibes and genres the same. These are industry standard plugins. Up. Niggas hating on me, but they do too much. Y'all niggas really gonna hate me. I put a phone in the double cup, go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but all right, I really like this one so far. The crazy thing about waves and why these mastering chains are even better than our stock plugins is because they have macros on them, so we can easily make quick adjustments. And on the next and last video of this series, I'm gonna actually show you how you can tweak the preset to your taste and create new macros. So I'm gonna teach you how to make quick knobs to make that easy. So like this, if I wanted a low cut. For every song, there's gonna be different mastering chains that work, but I just wanna quickly go through these plugins so that if you're not able to get this pack that you can at least know how to set up a chain like this, okay? So let's go through it. Good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. I'm my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you better ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't trying to cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck. On the road to riches, I'm speeding up. Niggas hating on me, but they do too much. Y'all just really gon' hate me. Watch what I got the Mercedes. Since you're not lying to me, baby. Is you gon' ride for me, baby? Yeah. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't tryna cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck on the road to riches. I'm speeding up, niggas eating on me, but they do too much. Y'all niggas really gon' hate me. Watch when I got the Mercedes. Since you're not lying to me, baby. Is you gon' ride for me, baby? Yeah. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't tryna cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't tryna cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck on the road to riches. A lot of people making presets out there are only creating that preset for that specific song and then selling it. So what we do with our packs is we test it on dozens and dozens of different songs, different genres, and make sure they all sound good and make sure to tweak them a little bit till they sound good. And obviously you heard like some of these make it too quiet, some of these make it too loud, but that's the point of giving you a full pack so you can get different vibes. And don't be scared like of some of the names just because it says Spanish trap doesn't mean your song has to be Spanish, right? It was just inspired by that genre, but it could sound good on lo-fi. So I try not to get too focused on the names. 
but I really like this Control Me. That's the one that really stood out. Comment down below which one you like best. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'm a r I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yep. Wow, that is so clean, so bright. I love that. All right, so the first EQ we're using is a linear phase EQ. And with mastering, linear phase EQs are so essential because you don't want phase issues in your final master. You don't want phase issues when you are performing your song live and there's phase where bass starts canceling out or there's weird songs that going on. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've went to like, you know, underground concerts and there's phase issues. It's because they weren't mastered correctly with linear phase EQs that protects it. So what we're doing right here with the linear phase EQ is we're getting everything around 22 Hertz and below cut out even though your ear can't hear it there's sound systems that pick it up and there's this loud boom that does not register right with sound systems mastering is all about small little final tweaks next we have another linear phase eq we're just sloping off a little bit of the high end just to smooth it out in that really high top end which is essential i see a lot of where i turn up their song and it just sounds way too the crispness up top it just hurts my ears so that's going to smooth out that next we have the GW Mix Centric. We have an intensity level of 28 and it's just giving it a nice sound. And then next we have a linear phase multiband compression. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. So right here you can see that all it's doing is when it goes over a certain peak, it's just controlling it and bringing it down a little bit. So that's the cool thing about that. Next, we have our L1 limiter, which we have an out ceiling of negative 0.1. That's going to ensure that it doesn't clip on any sound device, which is very essential. And then we have the threshold going down six. So the whole song is getting boosted about six decimals and it's getting squashed together more and increased. So there we get a more consistent, beefier song. Last but not least, we have one of the most important plugins to monitor your masters and this is the WLM meter and you can really use any meter but you want to focus on the luffs and see what that's hitting at and then we're gonna open up the limiter after and see we want to get it around negative nine depending on your song you're always gonna to have to do this one special treatment it wasn't good enough straight to the top like an uppercut Stun on my ex like I'm 21 went in my bag I'm gonna run it up I put a so we can see that it's around negative 11. I know that industry standard songs that are getting put out on YouTube and by labels are at negative nine right now. So I can open up my limiter. It was at six. We're gonna do it at negative nine. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'm gonna run it up. I mean, mistaken, I wanna fuck on the road to bitches. I'm speaking. Nice. Now what I'm noticing is that, you know, there's always going to be little tweaks that you're going to make in the master, or you can go back in your mix and make little tweaks. What I want to do is open up the linear multiband, and I just want to make sure that overall bass is getting pushed down a little bit when it reaches above a threshold. Anything under this 100 hertz, this part is just going to bounce down a little bit when it reaches above a certain threshold. So let's see where the threshold's hitting right here. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top. So right there, you see that bar right there? It's hitting a little bit over that. When it hits over that, it's a little bit too loud, so. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. And then I'm gonna lower the threshold of the highs a little bit just to control them and smooth them out a little bit more. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. Just some final mixing with the Adelaide. I'm just gonna bring that overall ad libs down. We're just gonna turn this overall studio rack down a little bit. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. Nice. So that is Waves Master Sauce, and that is essential. How I will be mastering all my songs, just trying out using the Waves Master Sauce, and then tweak from there, or just use it as an idea generator to be like, oh, I really like this mastering chain for the brightness. I'm gonna do my own thing, so maybe you turn off everything besides the plugins 
on this chain that are making it more bright. And I guarantee it's going to make your song sound really dope. So check it out, Waves Master Sauce down below. Make sure you get a copy of it. Really excited, you guys been asking. Waves Master Sauce is here. Comment down below which mastering preset did you like best on this song. Make sure to comment Waves Master Sauce in all caps. And I'm gonna be picking three of you guys to get a free copy of Waves Master Sauce. So I will see you guys in the next video where I show you how to tweak the preset to your own taste and start adding macros to start making it your own. If this video helped you become 1% better, make sure to smash that like button down below. I will see you guys next time. Peace.